Hello everyone, and by now, I think everybody knows what happened with GameStop this week, and if you don't know, then you've been living underneath a rock. So basically, for those who don't know what happened, a bunch of hedge funds and big time investors were trying to short GameStop stock. Because, well, it's a company that is losing money, they're closing stores all across the country, so it makes sense, it's a company that is dying. So it makes sense to short the company. But then steps in wall street bets <laughs> and basically they put in so much demand to buy the stock that we experienced a short squeeze a short squeeze happens when a lot of people are trying to buy a certain stock but then there's like a big spike there like the, pr the stock price goes up and these short sellers try to get out of their position and are forced to buy in at the current price to prevent losing even more money and when these short sellers get out of their positions this causes the stock to go up even more and then as the price continues to go up, more and more short sellers keep on selling out of their position, which makes the price go up even more. And the whole cycle continues until something breaks it or until all short sellers have completely failed. And a short squeeze is exactly what we saw with GameStop the past week. And not only did we see GameStop reach insane prices of more than $380, I don't believe this is the end for GameStop, and this could also be the start of AMC's short squeeze. So today, January 27th, 2021, AMC ran up more than 301%, and then it went down 26% in after hours, but this stands out to me because on the first day GameStop ran up dramatically, we saw this dip, and then the stock started to stabilize and stayed around the same price, and then <laughs> I mean, we just saw what GameStop did. It went past $380. But the, the reason why I'm talking about this is because look at what AMC just did today. It ran up an insane percentage and then dipped. It didn't dip as much as GameStop did. But by the end of after hours, the stock is trading at $1461, which is much lower than the high it hit today of more than $24 in pre-market. Based on the charts, there's a decent chance we could see AMC repeat the same pattern. I don't think it'll exactly follow the e exact pattern as GameStop. Like we could see a huge dip tomorrow by followed by a movement upwards or tomorrow AMC could just go to the moon or it could do nothing and stabilize all day, which is kind of exactly what GameStop did. GameStop ran up, dipped down a little bit, stabilized for a day, and then it went up to more than $380 today. Uh, we do not know when AMC will rocket to the moon because obviously with this stock market how it is now Anything can happen. This could go back to three dollars or it can go up to three hundred But with Wall Street bets backing this up This has a very good chance at reaching prices Maybe even in triple digits We could see a AMC by the end of the week at more than a hundred dollars Which makes no sense for a company that is losing money this is all just amateur traders messing with these gigantic hedge funds, all these traditional billionaire and millionaire investors that are just looking at us like, what are we doing? As they are all losing money and now they're trying to blame, blame Wall Street bets and take legal action because of it. But right now, AMC potential just like GameStop. That, that is my opinion. If you were to ask me, that is what I'll tell you. AMC right now has the same potential as GameStop to blow up. And GameStop might not even be done. Like, like I said in my video before, GameStop has potential to run up to more than $500. Either tomorrow or on Friday. But AMC is falling right in GameStop's fo footprint. And when AMC hits $100... I know I will not, I will be proud that I did not wait to buy in. And another thing I want to add is, so for a little bit of time before After Hours ended, Wall Street Bets Discord, their Discord server, was completely banned. And I also heard their subreddit went private, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But because of this ban, this made people who were in GameStop and AMC, because of Wall Street Bets, very uncertain. And we had a sell-off and GameStop at one point went down to around $250 and AMC went as low as $11. But before After Hours ended, Wall Street Bets Discord was back and unbanned 
and their subreddit was up and working. So this made investors confident again, and we saw both of these stocks go back up with GameStop closing at $292 and AMC closing at $14.61. And then now we're going to go and take a look at AMC stock. And we see it, we see today. It, it had this gro like this giant growth where it went up 301% today. But it had the dip early in the morning where it went up to about 20 where where is it? About 22 23 dollars. And then at trading right now it's at $14.61. So we saw this go down, it dipped down and then stabilized. And it stayed around the same price within like a two or three dollars right range of the same price throughout the entire day. So AMC stabilized. Now tomorrow it could stabilize, and then Friday we see it to the moon, just like the same pattern as GameStop. Tomorrow could go to the moon, or anything that happens could also crash back down to zero. So there is a similarity between both these stocks, and the thing is at the same time. Wall Street Bets is providing this confidence with these stocks that people like people and investors are like, oh, well, like Wall Street Bets, look what they did with GameStop. Now look what they're about to do with AMC. This is allowing people to work confidently put in their money and squeezing the short sellers out of this, which will cause this just to go to the moon. One last thing before I end this video, traditional investors and hedge funds are mad. And they're very mad. They were extremely butthurt that a bunch of Robin Hood amateur traders are causing them to lose money. They have lost more than six billion dollars due to a bunch of amateur Robin Hood traders. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. Peace out.